So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it in park. It's on that auto steer beta, or, so we're gonna test drive the auto steer beta, aka autopilot. We're gonna press this. This will automatically know when I'm pressing the brake that we're gonna go reverse because the car knows there's a wall here. So I'm gonna reverse the car, get on the freeway, and test that autopilot. Reversing. So far, so good. The camera's really clear, really enjoying it, and the UI on the left side helps a lot. And let's jump on the freeway and show you guys autopilot. All right, guys, so I'm gonna accelerate over the bumps. As you can see, there's a ton of bumps here. Um, it's doing a great job. It's doing a great job. It's a very bumpy road, but I can tell the suspension is extremely updated, so I'm not like my. I'm not in pain from, from the acceleration from, from the bumps. We're going to go signal right here. And we're going to the on-ramp. You can tell the acceleration, big difference between the long range and rear wheel drive. It's a lot better for the long range. So we're going on the ramp now. Very smooth. These roads here in Southern California are extremely bumpy. So it is a big difference. Okay. Signaling left now. now. Take the interstate 805 north ramp on the left. And then now we're gonna get on the freeway. One more signal to the left. Really enjoying this haptic feedback now. A lot better than the Model S um, long range. Okay. So what you're gonna do to, to basically turn on autopilot is that you're just going to jump in your lane and then to turn on autopilot similar to the s you're just going to press this button here that turns on autopilot so auto steer beta and as you can see it drives pretty smoothly doesn't like that i'm recording though that's the new update uh that indicates it so far so good pretty good um pretty good performing as usual for the auto steer beta and flicking this is very smooth now. I really like the feeling. So enjoying auto steer beta right now, very smooth drive. Um, you can definitely just sit down here and just drive from like Northern California, Southern California, or wherever you are in the country uh, or in the world. And it's a pretty relaxed drive. That's probably the biggest reason I bought a Tesla was because auto steer beta, because of autopilot. I drive a ton and um, it's been such a game changer. You no longer have driver fatigue. This is probably the best feature. Honestly, you don't even really need self-driving because it's so, so good uh, at what it does. So, impressed, You're very impressed so far. Obviously, your beer is great. Uh, adjusting the speed with this two kind of like knobs, it feels really smooth. So y'all definitely will enjoy it. All right, cool guys. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the autopilot. Gets the job done similar to all other previous Teslas and um, suspension is very smooth on the Model 3 long range. Um, yeah, yeah. Always recommend though, if you want a smooth drive, go for the long range or even if you go for the rear wheel drive, make sure you get the air wheels, you get more range. Tires are smaller so you feel less like kind of close to the ground and it's a much smoother ride especially if you have family if you have kids and you're optimizing for that smooth drive all right overall thoughts on the new model 3 highland long range 10 out of 10 great starter car if you are trying to get into an ev truly recommend the model 3 because of all the stuff you get with autopilot uh, if you really want to get full self driving, get full self driving. Suspension is amazing on the car, so it's great for long road trips. 340 miles of range, which is more than enough, especially for road trips going long distances, because you do want to take a break every now and then. Updated battery. Um, also, you get the new sound system. Car feels amazing. It's really easy to park compared to the Model 3 or Model X or Model Y. You have a really small, nimble car, so it's a great car to start with. Similar to MKBHD said, it is a great starter EV. I recommend it. Only thing is, I wish it still had the EV rebate, but it doesn't have that anymore. So if you like long distances, you're going pretty far from working back, 
dual motor long range is the way to go if you're going to just kind of short distances to work nothing really crazy too far get the rear wheel drive you don't need that much range overall 10 out of 10 really recommend the car um and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe we'll be posting more content for business finance tesla technology ai and uh channel's growing really fast love you guys jello family